everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel and I'm a fashion reseller on Poshmark and very recently I started selling over on Mercari. Um, so I am just kind of dipping my feet into Mercari. I um, have gotten quite a few sales already so I am loving it but Poshmark is still my main focus. As you read in the description, this is a unboxing. I have already opened it just so that I could look over these items before I film to get um, just more knowledge about the brands that are in there, flaws and things of that nature. So I'm gonna pop up on the screen uh, what I got. So it's called e g Trading Apparel Liquidators. Uh, the one that I got is the Popular Retailers Women's Apparel. This is the Premier um, box. It is returned. So each item is supposed to be a $60 MSRP meaning it sold retail new for at least $60, um, and it is an assorted bundle. So I chose the 25 pieces. I didn't, you got a better discount if you chose more items. Obviously, your cost per good will be lower the more items that you choose. So I paid $195 and some change um, that included the shipping uh, for this box. So the box came in today. I've gone through it already, and I wanted to show you what I got. Really quickly though, when I saw the returns, I assumed that meant all of these items would have tags. Um, that is not the case. I have to say um, I'm a little bit disappointed in that because um, I've worked retail a lot. Like I've worked retail, I have over 10 years of experience with retail. And anytime I worked retail, you could only return something if it still had the tag on it. Um, so that is not the case with these items. There's quite a few that do not have tags. So just full disclosure that these, you know, you can sell them like they're new without tag, I guess, but um, some of them don't have tags and some of them do have tags, but they look like they are worn. So I'm going to show you what I mean here shortly. So wanted to get that out of the way. There was 25 items in there, meaning the cost per good was, I want to say $7.80, I think is what I came up with. Um, but keep in mind when you get items in these boxes, there are going to be items that are damaged um, and there are in my box some of which um, cannot be mended. And I'm gonna show you specifically which one. Um, that makes your cost per good go up because if I had 25 items in this and I paid $1.95, making each item $7.80, and then there's you know like one or two items that you can't sell, well then your price per good's gonna go up to like $10 per item. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, let's go ahead and hop on into this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up so that I know to film more videos like this. Um, full disclosure, this is not a sponsored video. I know some people do sponsored videos and collabs with these companies. Um, I did not let them know I was a reseller. I just bought it. I still don't, I haven't told them I'm a reseller. Um, so yeah, it's not like they know and they know to send me good things or anything like that. So the main reason I chose this box was because it says that they are brands that come from Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack, Revolve, Macy's, Bloomingdale's, Dillard's, Newman Marcus, Last Call, Anthropology, and Urban Outfitters. We do not have a Macy's here. We do not have a Bloomingdale's. We do not have a Newman Marcus here um, in my city. I live in Knoxville, Tennessee, and we just don't have those stores. So that's why I picked this particular box because I wanted to get brands that I can't find here, uh, which I did. I got a ton of brands that I have a lot of research to do. That being said, if you know these brands, please comment below. Let me know if they do good, if they do bad, what you like about the brands, where they're sold, because all of that is really helpful for me when I'm looking up comps and things like that. All right, so the first pair that came out are these dress pants. And um, at first feel, I thought, oh my goodness, these are so thin because the material is very, very thin. Um, but it's because it's 100% silk. So I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, 100% silk, silk lining. But they are still very sheer, and it's probably not going to show up on camera. But they are very, very sheer, lightweight. So the brand is Gray by Jason Wu. I forgot to take my nail polish off. I apologize. They look terrible, but hey, you know what? We're in quarantine. We can't go anywhere, so who cares, right? <laughs> so just don't look at my nails. I'm so embarrassed. Um, so it says Gray by Jason Wu. Now, one thing that's on all of these is the marking here, and I'm sure that that's just their inventory number or something. So it is probably with a Sharpie, so I'm going to try to get these out. There are a lot of items that have stains and such that I'm going to be washing anyways. However, a lot of them are made with like silk, linen, and things like that. So I'm going to have to hand wash these probably. Um, but I don't see any flaws with these other than they're thin. Um, 
just kind of based on looking at them over quickly, I don't see any flaws. So that is good news. Um, like I said, I don't know this brand, so just comment below if you know um, of that particular brand. I've heard of it, but I don't know. All right, moving on. Next thing is this. This is Alexander Wang, and um, I have heard of this brand as well. I don't know much about it. It is a size small, I believe. It is a dress, but I, and I really don't think that this is going to show up on camera, but there's definitely some wash wear and some pilling going on, but it's not enough for you to sweater shave it. Like the sweater shaver is not going to get it off. I hope that makes sense. Um, so I don't know if someone bought this and returned it months later after they had worn it a few times. Um, it's a beautiful color. It is completely lined um, underneath. It's just, I don't know how to, I just don't know how to like describe it when I'm listing it as, uh, I guess it's just wash wear. I don't know. But once again, there is that number on the tag that I'm going to try to get off there. So there's that. All right. Next is a free people, which I was really excited about. That's another thing I can't find locally here. I don't find very often in the thrift store. I can find it at Belk for like if I'm doing retail arbitrage, but I just don't find it very often thrifting. So there's what the free people tag looks like. And it is a size small. I hope this is coming up on camera and it's not too bright because I feel like it's too bright, but this is something I'm going to wait um, and list and really quickly. I got to talk quickly because I don't want this video to be super long, but I know you hear a lot of resellers that say they list year round, um, which I usually do list year round. However, this year I'm trying something different. I am holding off on listing fall items. So this has a cow neck neckline. It is a long sleeve. It's not quite sweater material, but it's definitely more of like a dress you would wear in the fall. Like it's a thicker material. It does have that ruching there. Um, I personally, I'm going to wait until probably the beginning of July to list all of my sweaters and my fall type stuff. And the reason why is I did kind of a little um, statistic, I guess in uh, January, I listed all of my Victoria's Secret, um, like little slip dresses and things like that. I listed in January and they sold like hotcakes um, for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to try this time to wait and hold off on listing things like this and list them in the fall and do like a back to school um, reveal on my Instagram. I think that that is just fun. I think that when you're listing right before a certain season or a certain holiday, you're going to get the most profit. Like if I were to list something like this, people are going to expect to get it cheap because it's not in season. They think that I'm trying to get rid of these items and that's not the case. I'm trying to make some money because that's what my job is, right? Uh, so anyway, I don't know. It's just something I'm going to try and I know that it's worked for me in the past. Also backpacks. I've been already looking for backpacks and flannels for the fall time uh, and I can get them cheap now because they're out of season. Uh, I'm going to stock up on those and I'm going to wait to list those. So let, I'll let you know, maybe I'll do a follow up video on how that goes because um, I'm excited to try it out. All right, next up we have um, Lafayette. I always want to say La Follette. We, <laughs> we have a city close to where I live called La Follette, but it's Lafayette 148. I've heard many resellers speak of this brand, but I do not know where it's sold and I don't know anything about it. So let me know guys. But this is just a really pretty oversized, it is an extra large, but it's oversized still, ivory blouse and it has this really pretty shimmery stripes on it. So super cute with like a pair of jeans and it has just these short sleeves with this ribbing detail. Um, I didn't find any flaws on this. Um, so. I don't know why it was returned, but yeah, no tag on that one. All right, I was really excited to pull these out. I could tell with the hardware on there that they were something nice. I thought they were Michael Kors, uh, but they are not. They are this like terry cloth material. You can kind of see the tag there. This is Tory Burch size four. It is new without the tag. It has the little strings on there. Uh, and yeah, these are brand new. I don't see anything wrong with them. I don't see any flaws or anything. But super cute to list these. I've never really found Tory Burch like thrifting at all, so I'm really excited about those. 
Next is some Paige jeans, and Paige are kind of hit or miss. Sometimes they do really well, and sometimes they don't, depending on the style. Um, but these are great. I don't see any flaws with them. They are dark wash with the factory fading and the skinny leg opening. They're just kind of a classic. There's nothing too crazy, but um, if you're ever out thrifting and you see these lines, that is like their signature, so look for those. Um, and this is the tag. So Paige is sold at Anthropology and department stores. These are a size 29, which is a really good size. Um, it's going to be hard for me not to keep these because they look super comfortable. They're super stretchy and they're really, really cute. Um, oof, I can't keep it. All right, so here is another one. Now this one has a tag on it, but we're going to talk about that because I'm not 100% certain. But this is the Lafayette. 148 again size 4. A lot of the sizes I did get were small which is a bummer you know obviously the larger sizes do better um, but this is sold at last chance. Um, I don't know much about last chance. It says as is so it could have been a two piece set possibly. Um, I don't see anything wrong with it it's just kind of a black pencil skirt. There's a little bit of a like a little stain. I don't know. I'll probably clean that. It's not bad. But yeah, it could have been part of a two-piece set or something like that. Um, but its last chance was at $69, which is quite a bit for a skirt. So um, anyway, yeah, let me know, guys, about this brand. So there's that pencil skirt. All right, this one is really, really cute. And um, I can't remember if it had a tag. No, Gal Meets Glam. I have seen this brand. Um, other resellers sell it. I just, I don't know much about it. So... I really hope you guys can see this. I just feel like my camera is washing it out with this light. Oh, that's what I get for going somewhere else. <laughs> I should have just filmed downstairs like I normally do. <laughs> Alright, but it's Gal Meets Glam Collection. It is a size 6. Um, beautiful dress. It's a fit and flare. Like, it's definitely fitted up in the chest. And then, like, right here is the waist. And then it has this really beautiful flared um, bottom, size 6. Uh, it's a navy. So, if you know this brand, let me know. Next, this dress is so beautiful, and um, I don't know this brand either. I feel so bad about not looking these up, but I should have. But this is just such a gorgeous, like, formal gown. It's completely sequined, has a deep v-neck, and then the back is cut out. There's the top. There's the back. Um, let's see. It's definitely a fitted dress all the way down. Um, sequins all the way down. It's lined. It looks like it has a slit in the back. Um, and the brand is Dress the Population. So I don't know. There um, is still kind of the hang tag, but no tag. Just the kind of the string. So let me know, guys. I think it's a medium. Yeah, it's a size medium. There is another one in here as well. It's that same brand. All right, this is one of the items that I talked about how it had a tag, but it has wear. So let me know what you guys are thinking. Okay, so these are not your daughter's jeans. They're sold at Nordstrom Rack. So here is the um, the tag, Nordstrom Rack. They are size 8 petite. So petites don't sell quite as well, but um, I mean you can just wear them as crops, I guess. But here's my question. So these are sold at Nordstrom Rack, but there's wear on these. And, you know, it may not show up on camera, um, but you can just especially the knee the knee area has a lot of wear there's also some kind of little stain there which i can probably get out but there's some wear and you know some people will say well that's just how it's made it's just meant to be faded there but i can actually see like pilling on the knees so i guess i'm trying to figure out did they like return them after wearing for a little while or something oh and you can even see some stretching like you know how around the crotch especially with not your daughter jeans you get that um, stretching right there uh, you even have it I even have it here um, you guys are not going to be able to see that on camera but there's the like bubbles of stretching here in the knee area oh you can kind of see it yeah okay let me know guys I honestly am probably gonna keep these for myself um, they're my size. I'm not a petite. I'm almost 5'7", but that could just be cropped on me um, because I'm not sure that I want to sell them in that condition. I mean, let's be honest. All right, so next is Rag and Bone, which I've never found out either. Rag and Bone. They are a size 10, but they're a dress pant. Um, 
I guess Fred and Bone are more known for their jeans, am I right? Um, I don't know for sure, but they're just a very basic, I guess they're high-waisted, which is nice, but a very basic skinny dress pant, and they are very, very see-through. Um, I know you can't tell on here, but they are. They do have an invisible zip up the back, and the waist is, um, it's an elastic. So, they're nice. They're just very see-through. So, you know. All right, next up we have this. Okay, so this is one of the items I had an issue with. Um, which y y you're getting returns. The one I picked was returned, so I knew there would be um, maybe some issues. Okay, so this is by Vince. I've never found Vince before, so I'm pretty excited about that. However, um, it is a jumpsuit, first of all. I don't like selling jump jumpsuits or rompers, really. They're very, very hard to photograph unless you can find, um, like, I don't know, a stock photo. But they're just these track pants. Obviously, there's some marks on them. But the problem, what is that? I don't even know. But <laughs> there's that. The problem is with the sleeves. So they have sleeves, but there's no button. The buttons are missing. And I looked on the inside, because sometimes on the inside, on the material tag, they'll have extra buttons. But this one does not. So there's no extra buttons to put there. Um, obviously, I can just buy some buttons and put those on there. But... Um, I don't know. I just am not real sure about that. Let me know, guys, what you think I should do with that. All right, so next is this. This is a really cute plaid dress. Um, it is navy and white. Mason Jewels, size extra large, which is a great size. Uh, this is definitely more of a summer, even though it's plaid. I thought it might be something like a flannel or something for the fall. But it's fitted at the top. It kind of um, flares out, and then it is a jumpsuit, which I was just saying how I don't like... <laughs> photographing jumpsuits. They're just hard to, to photograph. So this one still has the tag on it. The last time it was on sale, it was, looks like 79 last act. So, um, anyway, it's really, really cute. It does crisscross. Maybe that's the front. No, that's the back. It does crisscross kind of, um, back here, which is really, really flattering. So there's that. All right. This thing, I do not have any idea what this is. I'm still trying to figure this out. This thing I thought was a blanket because there's this piece and then there's this piece and then there's this really long piece like a dress. So I was thinking, okay, so this must be the top and but that doesn't make sense either. What is going on? I'm still, I still don't know, okay? There's like this piece that's huge and the tag is down here and it says why project um and then the writing is down here as well so what the crap is this like the way that the sleeves are angled it couldn't be like this couldn't be the top because then like the sleeves they're angled this way so this has to be the top, but where, like, guys, what, how does this even work? Like, I just am so confused. Please let me know. I just, does this, like, fold over? No idea. So, obviously, can't list this until I know what the heck it is, but it's, super duper weird like you'd think this would be the top because it's shorter but the sleeves are sewn on like this so and then i'm so confused please let me know i thought it was like a tree skirt for a minute it's super heavy too like how am i going to sell this it's not going to be under the five pound weight limit on poshmark no idea Alright, so moving on to that item I just can't sell. <laughs> Alright, so this is Tibby. I've heard of Tibby. I'm trying to get my camera to focus. I, there we go. I should not have used this ring light. So Tibby size 6. This blouse is adorable. Okay, it's super, super cute. It's like semi-cropped, has bell sleeves. Look at how pretty. Um, it was sold at last chance for $112. That's pretty nice. 
uh, it has this zip up the back, but I'm sure you can see the problem probably right about now. There is some kind of stain, and it even looks like they maybe tried to treat it because there's like this circle. There we go. There's like this circle around it, and it didn't come out. So I'm going to use some OxyClean on this, and if that doesn't work, I'm going to use the Dawn dish detergent that's blue because it gets out pretty much everything. Um, but this is so cute. So I'm really, really hopeful that I'll be able to get this thing out of that one. All right, next up, there's two dresses. This thing is so flimsy. Like, I, I don't know this brand either. It's called The Great. Uh, let's see. The Great. I don't know. Size 2. Um, this thing is super duper sheer. I, I almost want to think that it's a nightgown or like a slip because it is so sheer. It's 100% cotton, um, but it's just a really basic piece. I don't see any flaws with it, but honestly, I would never have picked this up in the thrift store because it's too sheer. Like, what is it going to... I don't know. Alright, so next is this. This is a really beautiful dress. Uh, it has this really pretty floral print. Um, I guess it's half sleeves. So it's kind of a cute popover dress. Um, it is new with tag, which is nice. Sold it at Nordstrom, size 12, and it's Eliza J. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have their retail price on here, but it is really, really pretty. So I'll have to do a little bit of research um, on this, but yeah. So just real pretty dress. All right, so next is a free people uh, thing. So this is one of the items I was telling you I would probably wait and list in the fall just because it's like a hoodie, a zip-up hoodie. Um, but it has a pretty big problem. And this looks like someone washed this with jeans. Um, you all know what I mean when you wash something with new jeans and the jeans bleed off onto your items. Um, there's two in the front. And then I think there's just one in the back. Let me... Kind of, I don't even know where it is right now, but there's another little mark um, that looks like, oh, here's another one. Maybe that's what I saw. There's another little mark. Um, OxyClean sometimes will get that out. Um, I'm not super hopeful, to be honest. When jeans have been washed, um, it's really, really, really hard to get out. So there's the free people tag. Uh, it is a size large, which is a really great size, too, to sell. Um, I don't know. It's pretty basic. I mean, it has balloon sleeves, which are really cute and oversized, um, but it's pretty basic for free people. All right, here's the dress that I'm probably the most bummed about, just because I don't think I'm going to be able to sell it. I don't know the brand, so maybe I'm not missing out, but it just says ALC, ALC, I don't know, size 2. It is a smaller size, but I think it's 100% silk. Let me double check. Um... I'm going to show you the problem, and maybe there's a way to fix it. 100% silk, that's what I thought. Um, when there's a hole in silk, you can't fix that, I'm pretty sure. And um, I want you to look where this person put the tag. Like, on the chest of a beautiful silk dress, they put the last chance tag, $173 for this dress. But they put the tag right on the chest. So... There's a pretty noticeable hole where that you can see it even peeking out where they put this tag on. So if there's some kind of trick that I can like maybe soak the dress in, maybe the threads will go back. I don't know. But let me know. It's a beautiful dress. Um, I can't tell if it's black or navy. I think it's just black. Uh, it is lined. It has an invisible zip on the side. Like who does that? What a shame. I expect it at the thrift store, but not at, like, these nicer places. <laughs> like, all right, here's another thing that I can probably not sell, and I'm pretty frustrated um, at this point because a lot of this stuff, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to sell some of this stuff. So this is YFB, and it makes you think it's free people because it has that plate, but yeah, YFB, I have no idea. It is a size small, I believe. Yeah. Um, it feels like linen. It's 55% linen, so really lightweight. It's this beautiful, like, lavender color, very, very light purple. Um, has the rolled-up sleeves, buttons down the front. It has an elastic waist, and then it's a romper. But it is missing the backing to the snap. So here's, or the front, I guess. This is the snap. 
um, and it goes through the little hole to snap onto this here, but it is missing the, like, oh wait, yeah, it's missing the backing is what it's missing, excuse me. So it's missing this backing piece that looks like this. It's missing it. So, um, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to sell it like it's, it's coming off, it's dangling off. So, I don't know. It, it doesn't work properly without that backing. Um, now, because that's where it is, someone could still button it up and just have a, a cami like underneath. Um, and it wouldn't be super low. Like, it wouldn't be like super deep cut there. But I just don't know about selling something without that piece. And that's not something I can replace either. Like, you can't just go and pick that up somewhere. Alright, so next is another Free People. And the color on this is so beautiful. Like, it's that rose gold color, rose color, and it's fluffy. Um, cardigan. Now, the problem with this, um, did I show you the tag? I don't know. Free People. It is a size extra small, but it's oversized. So, um, yeah. There is a pop stitch here on the sleeve here. There it is there. And that's a super easy fix. As long as it's on the seam, I don't mind to fix it and I will just disclose it in um, the sale. So not super bummed. It does have some little pockets down here too. I'm not super bummed about that because a pop seam is very, very common and I can fix that very easily. All right, next is probably the best thing in here um, that I have found just because I've heard of it, but I, um, I also know that it is a very good brand. So this is Ted Baker, which I've never found ever, and it's their bridal. Ted Baker London, and it's their bridal, there we go, it's their bridal collection, um, and this is a size 4, Nordstrom Rack, um, clearance, they clearance it out for $77, but it is so pretty, like it has this beautiful floral bow, um, probably like knee length, I would say, short sleeve, and then here's the back, it zips up the back, so beautiful. Um, but as you can probably see, there are some like little stains and marks on it, um, especially like, ooh, I hope that shows up. I don't even know if it's going to show up on camera. Um, there's very, very minor marks and you're supposed to dry clean these only, but I think I can hand wash this. Um, I'll pro honestly probably take the tag off of it uh, and just hand wash this and I think it'll come out nice. But beautiful dress. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. All right, we're almost done. So next is this, and um, it did have it tied up. It has a sash, but there is a lot going on with this. There's a lot of dirt <laughs> where it's a jumpsuit, and it just drags the floor. Like, the, the feet on this are disgusting. I don't even know if you can see that, but <laughs> they're really, really bad. Bad stain. Um, I'm hoping that this is just dust and it will just come out in the wash. However, it is new with tag. They did have it on clearance. Um, here's the other tag here as well. And this brand is Alexa Admore. It looks really, really fancy with that nameplate on there. Um, but I unfortunately don't know this brand. They're definitely fitted up at the top. A full jumpsuit. Lines and it says on here that it's called Delightful Daisy. That's really helpful when looking up comps and such uh, to be able to find this online. Uh, it does have an invisible zip up the back. It is a size extra small, so a little bit smaller than I would want. And here's the sash that goes with it. All right, we just have two things left. Next, we have Veronica Beard. I've heard this too. You know, I've heard of these brands, so I'm glad that I am getting them because. I like to know, or I like to research brands that I've never heard before. So, Veronica Beard, it is a size 12, which is a great size. Um, and I believe I looked this up and it's linen, part linen. I could be wrong. Yep, 63% linen, has a side zip. So, this is a skirt. Uh, it has some shorts up underneath there. So, really, really cute. Um, I, don't, I don't know if the brand will sell super great, but we'll see. Last Chance Women's Apparel, and it sold for $79. So, there's that. All right, last but not least, this is another brand that I mentioned earlier, Dress the Population, that I don't know, um, I don't know anything about this brand. It is new with tag, so it has 
this tag and then it has like the Nordstrom rack tag or Nordstrom size extra small and it was originally $248 so that's promising right um, but it's like a it's like a Razorback and v-neck in the front um, and this is wow there's a big old tag on this this is like the return tag yeah once this has been re removed you can't return it so that just cuts off um, but it is a really really beautiful dress and it has like a fake oh, fake wrap here in the front there so this will be really really pretty to wear to a wedding all right so that's it i want to know your guys' opinion if you think that this box was worth it um i'm not 100 percent certain i think that my um, views might change if i can get whether or not i can get the stains out of these items if i can get the stains out and i can mend most of them um i would say it is but the one dress that's silk with the hole right in the chest, I can't mend that. Like, you can't fix that. That's just, you can't sell it. Like, that's just how it is. So, I'm a little bit bummed about that. I think that um, they shouldn't have put that in there, to be honest, because that's, you can't resell that. So, um, anyway, I want to know your guys' comments. So please comment below on any of the brands if you have any questions, if you can help me out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.